Hello everyone, welcome to the free video. So tonight I'm going to be talking about the home builders. This is an area that has been incredibly hot. There's a couple reasons for this. Number one, as the government continues printing out dollars, our dollars becoming less valuable, leaving people to want to put their money into assets like real estate. Uh, we also have a delayed buying season caused by COVID-19 that uh, caused bought house home buying to ramp up into the summer um, and then we also have more people than usual not putting their homes up for sale which means that we have low inventory so we're seeing crazy housing rushes all over the country um, and the home builders can't even keep up so in addition to all that we have a setup here on the daily chart we have a glorious squeeze we have positive volume we are currently running right into resistance but we're holding support and we have an overall target at 56 and then 57 and a half. So basically what I'm betting on in this overall industry group is I think that this is gonna break. It might pull back first and then break higher, but either way, I think this is gonna break and we're gonna make targets up here. So how would you trade it? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can focus on simply just buying XHB. I did go ahead and buy a bunch of this in my son's account, it's pretty cheap. Um, it's a good way to be involved, especially on a long-term basis. You can also look at individual names. So Lennar is one of them. I think that Lennar looks really strong. You've got a overall uh, squeeze setting up here. You have a squeeze on the lower time frames. So basically everything is aligned. The only thing that I would say about this is, you know, the target's not too far off. So. This is a trade that I would consider a little bit better for people who don't want to trade something too volatile. Um, you know, you have about a $4 risk and a $4 reward, so it's not amazing, but it's just kind of a nice little easy movement. There's also lows, so I like this one quite a bit. Uh, we're also in hurricane season as well, so it's kind of a hurricane play too. But this is a higher price stock, so you're gonna get a little bit more movement at least. And you can see the way that it's holding the 50, you have a squeeze, you still have a much higher target. So you're trading at 162, you're looking for a 176 target and your stop is gonna have to be like below 160, probably let's call it 155. So you have a slightly better risk to reward situation here. For this one, um, I am just looking at overall buying the stock and then I also like placing butterflies at the 175 price point. So because it has um, because it has an earnings report in November and it has a dividend on the 20th, those are two different times you would want to avoid having a butterfly on. But looking at trading it into the uh, monthly October series makes sense. So either targeting the 170 or 175 price point, I think looks pretty good, just depending on you know how much you really think this thing can get moving. So I really like a 160, 175, 190 fly on here. It's gonna be $15 wide. It's gonna give you pretty solid risk to reward on your money, and you'll be able to capture the range between 160 and 175. So that is about all for me. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night. If you're interested in joining us for a webinar, TG is going to be having a webinar tonight. You can find the information on simplertrading.com. Just scroll down and you can learn all about uh, TJ, TG's $100,000 day. But beyond that, I hope you have a great rest of your night and we will see you in the next one.